Hi, today we are going to be testing your radi radiator fan switch to see if it's good or not. And in order to do this, you're going to need a voltmeter, your fan switch, and a pot boiling water, and some tin foil. Alright, so in order to do this, you're going to want to turn your voltmeter to the continuity check. And to test to see if it's working, you're going to touch these two pins together. And when they do, you're going to hear a buzzing sound. So, now we're going to test it and I'm going to sh show you what it's like when the radiator fan switch is not at operating temperatures. And as you can tell, it is not making a sound through continuity. And this is because this fan switch has not reached a certain temperature in order for it to click. And when it does reach that temperature, it will click in and it will turn on your fan switch. So as you can see what we have here is I put the sensor in boiling water to raise up to the temperature needed for the fan switch to click and turn on. So for this I have a pot of boiling water which is going to be around over 200, over 210 degrees Fahrenheit and when the sensor reaches or exceeds that temperature it will click and it should make a sound so I'm going to test it to see if we have reached optim optimal temperatures but let's find out. So I'm touching the two pins and as you can tell it has not reached optimal temperatures so if you wait a couple minutes then you try again. We should reach optimal temperatures and it should click. If it still doesn't click and your continuity test fails, then that means you have a bad radiator fan switch. Therefore, you should go replace it. So, it should be at operating temperatures. Let's try this again, and I'll touch the two pins on the switch. And as you can tell, it has clicked once it has reached that operating temperature. So, this fan switch right here is from a 2002 Acker RSX and I'm just using it for demonstration purposes to show you how you can test your fan switch to see if it is good or not. 